Hey there, Connie. It is Jay. So thank you again for taking the opportunity to speak with me. And ironically, I realized while I was on the phone that the stock number that you had requested on the online is actually the one that we had just put on the showroom. So kind of recapping, this is going to be the Turbo Premium trim. So obviously the Turbo is going to be quite impressive. So hopefully, uh, you know, regardless of whether it's myself or Ryan on the test drive with you tomorrow, you know, luckily we're all heavily insured. So have at it on the skinny pedal. But there's a lot of features with this vehicle. And I know that was kind of important. You had mentioned not buying a vehicle since like 2008. And, you know, if you were going to do it, you were going to do it right and get everything. So I'm going to go over this vehicle and some of the features just up front. So that way you kind of have an idea of everything that comes with it. Now, space-wise, just to show you, this gray one right here is your CX-5, which is like a CRV. And this is the CX-30, which is like an HRV. So you can see it's kind of like the... Uh, baby brother, if you would. Now, one thing is you'll notice that all of these emblems in the front grille are fake. And you're gonna see a big camera up on top of the windshield. So all of these vehicles have the safety feature or safety suite that Mazda calls it. So you have all of the collision avoidance that will stop the vehicle automatically if it senses you're gonna crash. It will help pull you back in the lane if you're drifting. Um, it can actually do the adaptive cruise control, which can use the gas and brake and even self-drive itself in traffic, as crazy as that sounds. The headlights are piercing blue. You are going to get an occasional flash or two of someone thinking you're the asshole with the high beams on all the time, but it's just how bright that the headlights are. But they even swivel, so they'll move left and right as you turn the steering wheel to kind of help light up corners. Now, the wheel-wise, with the turbos, they're all going to be black, and you do have the black mirrors. And I will say on the red, it looks very, very sharp together, especially with this lighter interior that I'll show you. This is also gonna have those side rail standard and up top you will see that you are gonna have your sunroof, even sort of a blacked out spoiler to kind of match some of the accents. Now you'll see the turbo badge and you got your big dual exhaust pipe so people behind you see the exhaust pipes and know that the vehicle means business, but more importantly, everything does go out through all wheel drive. Now, if you've had good luck with your CRV in the winter, the good news is if you look up I active, so just the letter I and then active, something that I need to be more of, uh, you will see that our all wheel drive system actually ranked the best in the segment. Now for lift gate wise, I'm just gonna pull this really quick and you are gonna see that that is power. It is height programmable, so know that you can adjust it to stop at lower heights, but you'll definitely see there is plenty of room back here. Uh, but let me just go ahead and close this. Now, a couple other safety features that will be on the vehicle. I may have mentioned the lane assistance. If you're drifting, it helps pull you back. You also see like a little triangular hologram right here in the side mirror. That will light up orange for the blind spot system. So if anyone is ever in your blind spot, it will light up. And then if you're part of the 2% of Pittsburgh that uses their turn signal, it will beep at you. Uh, just to let you know that, hey, you will cause an accident going into that lane. But here's honestly what I like the most about the CX-30 is what they call their interior theme. So you're going to see that you have some almost coffee-like leather that runs up the center. It kind of runs along the doors through the top of the dash and then sort of flows back down on the doors. And then you are going to have these kind of nice, almost um, sort of taupe colored seats. They are gonna be eight-way power with power lumbar, and then down there you will see the memory. So you just hit a button and it will kind of recall where you were comfortable. You'll have the dual zone climate system, so it just means that you and a passenger can set two different temperatures. And then down under there, you'll see that you have the heated seats as well as a heated steering wheel in this particular car. You'll see that you have the frameless auto dimming mirror, the sunroof, but really it's going to be kind of come down to the infotainment setup. So it takes a little getting used to because rivaling like BMW and Audi, the screens are very high up on the dash, but they're not touch. So you're going to see that big dial behind the shifter, which controls everything while you're driving. Believe me, the first day you're going to be dropping an F-bomb all the time, just getting used to it. And then by day two, you're going to completely understand why a lot of luxury brands use that setup. So everything is gonna be at your fingertips. In fact, that smaller button to the right there is the volume for the radio. So again, everything beside you. Now, things like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard. If that's something you're unfamiliar with, depending upon your device, it will actually throw your whole phone up on the screen. And you can literally control your phone with that dial as you're driving. Now, speaking of driving, it's a little difficult to see. You might see that sort of rectangular cutout up on top of the windshield. That is a head-up display. 
So that's another kind of part of this sort of fully loaded package where it actually puts like a hologram up on the windshield. It will show you speed, um, traffic signals, speed limit signs, which, you know, I, I kind of feel like, yeah, I'll just throw out the speed limit signs. They're just suggestive here in Pittsburgh. Uh, but navigation will be built into your dash. You'll notice down here, you are going to have your 12 speaker uh, 3D audio provided by Bose. And then even all of these vehicles have an app called Connected Services, which allows you to remote start the car. You can lock and unlock the car all from your cell phone. So I could kind of go on and on and, and on about the amount of features, but figured I'd just make you a quick video highlighting some of my favorites and just going over the size-wise of the vehicle a little bit better. It happened to work out that it's right in the showroom next to my office here in the corner. But I appreciate the opportunity, Connie, and me and Ryan will look forward to seeing you around 2 o'clock tomorrow, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening.